questions, questions. But enough about the format, let's meet the teams. On my right, Kip Heath, a qualified girl guide leader who enjoys science fiction conventions and visiting London tourist attractions. Heather Heath, an optometrist who is a member of the local book club that loathes science fiction. And their captain, Alan Heath, an economics graduate who enjoys family holidays and was once mugged by an old lady in Greece. United by a love of each other, they are the Heath family. Alan, you beat the exhibitionists in your first heat, then lost to the Europhiles. How's the family unity holding up? Well, it was fine after the first game. Since then, my wife's given me the name of a divorce lawyer and my daughter the name of an adoption agency. That was going to be one of the round two questions. Scratch that, scratch the divorce adoption question. Good luck. I hope it goes well for you tonight. You are facing, on my left, Stephen McIntosh, a computer sciences graduate and software developer who's designed a smartphone game called Describability. Anne Harrison, an engineer who is an enthusiastic woodworker, quilter, ballroom dancer and bead weaver. And their captain, Chris Howlett, a software engineer with a talent for geocaching and playing the euphonium who once built a snowman with a Fields medalist in maths. United by a competence for computing, they are the software engineers. So, Chris, your team lost to the Welsh learners, but then you beat the erstwhile athletes. Have you been preparing for this encounter? Well, on the evidence of those two matches, we've prepared by eating a lot of gummy sweets before the show. Excellent. Well, I hope those stand you in good stead. Obviously, because you've both won a game and lost a game, the result of tonight will be that the winners are through to the semi-final and the losers are going home. Heath family, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose a hieroglyph. Lion, please. Lion. I simply want to know, what is the connection between four apparently random clues? Here's the first. The devil's tune. The devil's tune, do you? Devil has all the best Next. music. Next. Don't really know that's a song, it's a saying, it's a... Uh, it's a Kansas song. Know, it's another one. Next. Next. I don't know what this tree is. I think they're books. Oh, um, books. I think they're books by somebody. OK, let's... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll have to go for the next one. Yep. Yeah. Next. Time to do versions. Is it what you put in? No. Is it in heaven if you're a Muslim? No. Three seconds. What do you find in heaven? The devil, twice, <laughs> two devils. <laughs> Clematis tree might be rather nice, and uh, virgins, I can imagine it's some people's taste, but no devils in heaven, I think. So no points there. Software engineers, there's a bonus chance. Are they all novels by the same author? They're not, and if they were, frankly, I couldn't accept that answer because I'd want to you know who. the author. They are novels, I think you knew that too. Mm. The Devil's Tune is a novel by Ian Duncan Smith. Novels the Devil You Know is a novel by Louise Bagshaw, subsequently became Louise Mensch. MPs. They're novels by Tory MPs. The Clematis Tree, a novel by Anne Widdicombe with a subplot about... Parliament? Euthanasia. <laughs> Everyone's favourite jolly novel topic. And 72 virgins, knowing they're all Tory MPs. You want to guess who wrote that? Don't Michael Portillo. <laughs> <sighs> Sadly, it wasn't lovely Michael Portillo. Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson wrote 72 virgins. <laughs> Software engineers, no bonus point, but you may choose a question. Horned Viper, please. Horned Viper. These are going to be picture clues. Something connects them all. What is it? Your time starts now. Next. It's the European city of some kind. Is that? It's not housing. What's going on? It's not Helsingor, is it? I have no idea. Can we Yeah. Next. That is Blind Bartimaeus, I think. They all are names of apostles. They all named after apostles. Possibly. Next. Five seconds. I guess it. They all have the name of apostles. They do not all have the name of apostles. There's a bonus chance for you now, Heath family. Um, they all, all made up stories. No, now, what if I tell you you are looking syndromes. at the writer, sorry? They're syndromes. They are syndromes. Do you is now know Baron what you're looking at? It is Baron Munchausen at the end. Stondahl in the first one. What's Stondahl syndrome? Any of you know? No. 
It's uh, something you suffer when you're exposed to too much beauty. <laughs> you're overcome by beauty. It's a problem for you when they visit the BBC studios here at Cardiff Docks, just overcome <laughs> by the beauty of the place. They can suffer that Stockholm Syndrome. I think people know that about uh, empathising with your captors. And who's that in the third picture? Diogenes. Diogenes syndrome is apparently something that involves social withdrawal and the hoarding of garbage. I didn't know that was a syndrome. I thought that was just normal. And uh, Munchausen at the end all gave their name to syndromes. So no points yet, but Heath family, you may now choose a question. Two reads, please. Two reads. Ah, it's the music or sound question. You'll shout next when you want to hear the next clue. The first one is coming in now. It's, um, I think it's the killers, but I'm really not good at this sort of music. Wolf 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 No. Good. <laughs> Next. Hallelujah. Which version? Is it Jeff Buckley? Next. They all last four minutes and 33 seconds. They do not all last four minutes and 33 seconds. There's a bonus chance for you, software engineers. We think the second one was Hallelujah, the Leonard Cohen song, but not by Leonard Cohen. We think it was the Jeff Bridges version. Ooh. We haven't figured a connection. I'd love to hear the Jeff Bridges version, <laughs> but that was Jeff Buckley. Jeff Buckley is what you meant. Yes. Um, Jeff Bridges no, is that I... actor. But I yes, now, that is quite key. These were all pieces of music that were released to scupper X Factor, X Factor singles Christmas for the Christmas number, number one. They're sort of protest songs. And yes, you recognise the 4 minutes 33. <laughs> but Because the, the year before, there'd been a Rage Against the Machine competition, yeah. so they went with Cage Against the Machine. OK. Software engineers, your turn to choose a question. Uh, twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next. Yes, it is. Yeah, go for it. They're all games on I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue. They're all games on I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue. You didn't need to see Uxbridge English Dictionary and Mornington Crescent. Well done, software engineers. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. And back to you, Heath family, to choose a question. Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Okay, we need another one. Next. Yeah, the Beatles. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to do next? Is that with your Dan Paul McCartney? Okay. What do you want to do? Next. <laughs> three, as in the Thunderbirds? Four. Yes. What's on Mr. Bean's car? Sorry? It's what's on Mr. Bean's car? It's a Beatle. It's a number four, it's is it? It's a mini, I think. Go next. Go next. We have four. to. Should have four. Go for it then. They all have number four on their vehicles. I'm afraid they don't, so I must show the last clue to the software engineers for a possible bonus point. They all drive yellow vehicles. It is yellow oh. vehicles. Yeah. Yes, the Beatles drive, as it were, a yellow submarine. Mr Bean has a yellow mini. Thunderbird 4 is yellow. And what do the trotters drive? Reliant Robin or something. It's a Reliant it's Regal, a yellow Reliant Regal. OK, software engineers, the last question for you. I of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. That's a solo no. phenomenon. Better get another. Yeah, next please. I have no idea what that is. It's a solo phenomenon. The sun shines down on the main streets of here. Okay. I don't know. Next. They're um, all fixed periods of time. They all have it in July. They must all mask up. Shall I take the next one? Yeah, better. Next. Do they happen twice a year? Yes. They're all events that happen twice a year. They do indeed all happen twice a year. Yes, under FIFA rules, twice a year. You can do football transfers. Clocks, of course, go forward and back. The Palio, what's that? That's the one we didn't know. 
Do you know what horse the panel is? Horse race in Italy. A horse Siena. race through Siena, that's absolutely right. And Manhattan Henge. The sun shines down one of Manhattan's main streets. That's right. The sunset aligns exactly with the east-west streets in Manhattan twice a year. So well done for the points. At the end of round one, then, the Heath family have yet to score. The software engineers have five. On to round two, sequences. The teams may see a maximum of three clues. I want to know what comes fourth. He family will be going first again. Which question would you like? Um, twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. OK. What would come next in this sequence? Here's your first clue. Next. No. Do you want to add a card? That their characters from TV program. Don't know okay, which one. Next. Danny and Party Animals. No. I honestly have no idea. Are we looking at... Um... Party Animals. Was it a TV series or was it a film? I don't know. Music? Uh, Do we have any? Are they cat? Are they... Oh, people who've won the BAFTA or something? I don't know. Or not BAFTA. Five seconds. I don't know. Nothing. Yeah. No, we don't. I think it would be pretty impossible to guess this one. Do you know it's Software Engineers for a bonus? I might guess Victoria Corrin. I wish the answer was Victoria <laughs> Corrin. OK. Nicky Hutchinson was the lead and central character in that great TV series, Our Friends in the North, played by Christopher Eccleston. D.I. Alec Hardy is the role taken in Broadchurch by David Tennant. Oh. Yes. Danny in Party Animals was the first major role on TV for Matt Smith. We wanted to know what is a role played by... Peter Capaldi. Peter Capaldi, for example, Malcolm Tucker. It's a Doctor Who question. It is other roles taken by successive Doctors. And I wanted to know something that Peter Capaldi's done, like Malcolm Tucker. No bonus points then for you software engineers, but you may choose a question. Lion, please. Lion. What would be fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. It's important that it's green. It must be. You do a double take. Then it might be green. Next. This is. Coming to clue. Next. Is it a is it? Are they like Ooh. cockney rhyming slang for something? I can't well, see. Maybe cause it cars with them. No, that's it. The time is up. So you have a bonus chance now, Heath family. Finish line. In, In blue. blue. In blue. The finish line is not the answer. Now, I can tell you what these are. These are stages in the American DEFCON warning system. DEFCON 4, 3 and 2. And DEFCON 1 is cocked pistol in white. OK, Heath family, pistol cocked, what would you like? We'll try the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would be fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. I do think so, Mark Edmonds. It was Mark Edmonds. I can't think of tennis, is it? No. Next. No, it is tennis. So what have they done? It's French Open, isn't it? I don't know. In Mark Edmonds, no, Mark, Mark Edmonds is Australian. It's going to be 2013 Andy Murray. OK, are you sure? No. Why, why Andy? Because he, he's, he's, he was French when the French Open. He's Australian. He OK, Australian. okay. Go, for it. go for it. 2013 Andy Murray. That's it. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. 2013 Andy Murray. And why is that? Um, because these were tennis <laughs> players who won their national championships in the those years. Time. The last in one. the men's singles. The last ones. That's it. They're the last times that homegrown players have won Grand Slam championships in tennis. Very well done. Back to you, engineers, for a choice. Water, please. Water. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. It's the Lauren Ipsum. Yes, Lauren In sit, Donald. Donald sit. Oh, are they in reverse order? Yeah. So it'll be Lauren. So Donald yeah. yeah. sit. Yeah. Lauren. Yeah. Lauren. You get three points for coming in after two clues. The answer is Lauren. And why is that? 
It is the um, placeholder text for copywriters in reverse order. That's exactly right. When copywriters are showing a design so as not to distract people with the content, they put a sort of made-up Latin. I think it's a sort of mangled Cicero quote. Something like that, yeah. And we're going backwards, so it will go lorem ipsum dolor sit. Going backwards first would be lorem. Well done. Back to you, Heath family. Two reads, please. Two reads. These are going to be picture clues. What sort of thing might you see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. No, they're not sprouts. Next. They're the seeds of. Um, okay, so that's. Uh, like cocktail. Yeah, what kind of cocktail's got a little cherry in it? Um, sure, it's cherry? No. Um, Next. Carol Waterman. Carol. Carol. Um, so it's Christmas. Food. Is it, is it a word-changing one? It's a word-changing something. Five seconds. Oh, you are. I don't know. I don't know. Card. Card. Card? Card, yes. Not the answer, I'm afraid. There's a bonus chance for the engineers. No. no sorry. It's very tricky to spot, really. So, we're looking at some capers. Yeah. That cocktail is a Manhattan, and it's Carol Vorderman. These are the last words in titles of Muppet films. Yes, the great Muppet caper, the Muppets take Manhattan, the Muppet Christmas Carol. Next would be Muppet Treasure Island. OK, engineers, there's one question left for you. Horned Viper, what will be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Billion, but it could be B billion to see what was the next baby. Next. One billion. Billion. No. Billion. One billion. No. Next. One. <gasps> next. Are they one followed by that many? No, they're not alive. No. One octillion is. Ten. Eight, ten, ten to the three times eight. Three seconds. D one trillion. That's not the answer. Heath family, do you want to have a go for a bonus? D one Google. That's not it either. Now I heard you wondering why the letters were there. That's because those are letters that you're looking for. One hundred and one is the first number in which the letter A appears when it's written out. One billion is the first example of a letter B. Octillion for C. I want to know what is the first number in which you'd see a D, and it would be 100. Mm. That is the lowest number which contains the letter D. So after that rather gruesome round two, the Heath family have three points, the software engineers have eight. Time now for the connecting wall, and you probably know how this works by now. You certainly should, software engineers. You've been here before. You get the choice this time, lion or water? Lion, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to sort these clues into four connected groups of four. Starting now. OK, Inquisition, Gyokuru... Uh, oh, these are means of saying goodbye. We've got bye, box. see ya, ta-ta, ciao. Goodbye, but, uh, there are any more. OK, are they foreign ways of saying it, anyway? Um, we've um, so century is like Java. It's um, oh yes, it's a. Have we got? But, uh, have we got plots here? Oh, we got about the plots, the Babington plot certainly. Um, I don't know about any others. Any three of these? I get any two of these three. Hyson? Hyson is Hyson mean anything to you? It's nothing ringing a bell. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean so those three and. Maybe. Sorry, yeah, I'm, you, I follow. Okay. Um, fly, fly, May, fly. Should we try those together just as four short words? And work that out the link after. It's them. worth a track. You're okay. No. Sadly not. Uh, Spanish Inquisition. Okay, so it blood. wasn't the most thing. Okay. Um, I wish we had any idea what Chun Mi was. No, Spanish fly. Spanish fly. Spanish, fly. Spanish, Spanish Inquisition. Inquisition. Okay. Spanish, Spanish main. main. Spanish. 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 Spanish.
Just gonna squeeze it. Next. Remember three strikes and you're out now. Okay. Okay. Oh, could we can't have plots left now, Do can we? I think anagrams. Okay, Bay Be Be is a it, Turkish ruler. It must include the Turkish ruler. No, no, sorry. Imam. They are they foreign rulers. We got Bay. No. Im um, oh, that's Imam. Yeah. Um. Is it Dyson? Change one letter and you get an inventor. <laughs> Try putting those four, these four, we're going around low on time, so we, we might not use our lives. Minute. But yeah, we won't. No. no. Two left. Um. Move gunpowder and put in centre. Yeah. No. Nope. Ten seconds Move now. Move gunpowder and put in Heisen. Because of all surnames. Should we go for the last yeah. life on that? Yeah, might as well. That's no. it. You've used up your lives and the wall is frozen, but you found two groups, so that's two points. There are bonus points for telling me what are the connections. Tartar, -ta, sire or seer, chow, veil. They're ways of saying goodbye. That's right, so it would actually be vale, wouldn't it, I suppose, the Latin ways of saying goodbye. Next one, Inquisition practices flee, fly. Can all be preceded by Spanish? Yes, they can. You can put Spanish in front of all of them. And there are still points available for connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. Buy Babington Main Gunpowder. They're plots. And a buy plot, obviously, yes. They are plots. I'd love to hear something else. They are plots to remove heads of state? You're in... I mean, you're in the area. They are plots, so I'm going to have to accept it. They're very specifically Catholic plots against the throne. OK. I suppose sort of the head of state, in a way, against the throne, but they are Catholic plots against the throne. What about the next group? Sencha, Gyokuro, Heisen, Chunmi. Are they all Pacific Islands? They are not. Close, though. They're types of green tea. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, two points for the groups you found and three points for connections. That's a total of five. Time to bring back the Heath family, give them a connecting wall with 16 fresh clues on it, but still only one perfect solution. The water wall is what remains for you, Heath family. You have, of course, two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Okay. So we've got Dick Van Dyke. Uh, no, I think we should have um, Vermeer, Pals. There's another um, Bush. What are we looking at? Click on Okay, Vermeer, Van Dyke, Bush. Pals, Pals, Take out Vermeer. Bush. Take out Van Dyke. Take out Pals. What, what are you looking at? Uh, they're, they're Dutch painters. Okay. Steen's right. probably a painter. I'll carry on with him. What about um, sevens? Lucky numbers. Number seven's lucky. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Number seven, right, uh, horseshoe. Uh, what else can be lucky? Uh, wishbone. Wishbone can be lucky. Can. Uh, and, uh, no. Wishbone third, anchor. And no. Circle. Okay. No. Okay. So what? But what, what else have we potentially got? Have we got a homophones? Let's have a flipping homophones. Uh, circle. Uh, Bosh, we've got, have we got um, companies? Bosch, Flymo. Oh, yeah, yeah the makers of companies. Anchor. Anchor. And. Try Vendor. Uh, okay. Try Brill. Brill pads. The Brill pads. Okay. Yeah. You're about halfway through the time. Okay. okay. Van Dyke has a beard, isn't it? Um, another beard's. Steam. Uh, steam. Okay, okay, fine. Steam. 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 Any other? Type. Uh, Is a footballer? footballer. Um, right. Well, I'll try and paint Dyke. Should we go back to painters then? Painters. No. And what else is the mirror? What does it sound like? Um, yeah, have we got colours? Because there's seven Jeep. colours in a rainbow. Number seven. Lucky seven. Circle. Seven in a circle. Um, yeah. 30 seconds. Okay. Um. Wishbone, horseshoe, number seven, and. How about Jade? Can Jade be lucky? Oh, sorry, there, yeah. No, um, okay. Wishbone, lucky, it's quite. Yeah. Uh. 10 seconds now. Bush, rainbow, flying. Time's up and the wall's frozen. Honestly, the longer you played that wall, the more horrible I realised it was. That is a very tough one. But you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. OK. 
Brill Hater Flymo Bosch. Make, uh, makers of, of uh, um, appliances. Want to be more specific? Gardening appliances. Kitchen appliances. More specific? Lawn mowers. They are makers <laughs> of lawn mowers. I mean, I'd have to take makers of gardening equipment, but yes, lawn mower companies. What about this? Vermeer, Hals, Steen, Coip. Dutch painters. <laughs> Those are all 17th century Dutch painters. I think you were starting to realise there were a lot of red herrings there, but that's it. And the next one, Circle Anchor Van Dyke Horseshoe. Are these beards. Those are the beards. beards. And the last one, Jade Wishbone Number Seven Rainbow. Things that are lucky. lucky. They are all lucky. I think you knew all the groups. Yeah. It was just yeah. getting the right clues in there, but you do get the maximum connection points mm. of four. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Heath family have seven points. The software engineers have thirteen. And if those examples didn't put you off the connecting wall for life, why not go to our website where you can play some or write your own? But we're going to play the missing vowels round. Vowels have been removed from well-known names, phrases or sayings. I want to know what the disguised clues are. Fingers on buzzers, teams. The first group are all things that swing. Don't know this one. It's voters. He family. London. Correct. No, this is too late, I'm afraid. I started giving the answer. It's Foucault's pendulum. Next clue. Engineers. Benny Goodman. It is the king of swing. Next category, fashion designer and product. Engineers. Calvin Klein and underwear. Yes, it is. He family. Coco Chanel and a little black dress. That's right. Engineers. Manolo, Blahnik and shoes. Correct. No, this one is too late, I'm afraid. Louis Vuitton and luggage. Next category, cyclists. He family. Bernard Eno. Correct. Engineers. Graham Obery. Correct. Engineers. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you lose a point. Do you know it, Heath family? I will let you answer if you can. Mark. No. Yeah. Mark. No, this is a tricky one. It's from the magic roundabout, Mr McHenry. <laughs> Lovely Mr McHenry. But that bell is the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores. The Heath family are up to 10 points, but the software engineers are the winners with 16. So, software engineers, you are through to the semi-finals. Many congratulations. Heath family, I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you. I'm sorry, you've been a lovely team. You've quizzed very well, but goodbye. Thank you. So, for the software engineers, it's celebration. For the Heath family, it's tragedy. That's the after-show karaoke sorted out anyway. Goodbye. <laughs>